Hey guys, as a remodeling contractor, we use fiber cement backer board for underlayment purposes, typically in wet areas like kitchens and bathrooms, and we've been doing that for years, sometimes in shower situations. It has excellent resistance to moisture, mold, as well as excellent tile adhesion. While cement backer board excels in performance in these areas, it's very difficult to score and cut, and it creates a absolute messy, dusty mess of airborne silica dust when you use power tools to cut it. So we recently had an opportunity to use the Pack Tool Snapper Shear Pro, and we used it in, in a, a cutting underlayment uh, backer board. This new cutting shear is designed to cut straight, circle, or curve cuts in cement backer board. The Pack Tool's head can rotate 360 degrees, and it easily makes these, it can make right angle cuts or curve cuts. It can even do 90 degree cuts in situations for cutouts, such as maybe HVAC vents and stuff like that. Uh, it'll do uh, circle cuts as small as three inches in diameter for situations like toilet flanges. The pack tool uh, shear, it's basically an accessory that will chuck into any drill, 3 8 inch drill. Now we used it and the pack tool shear actually shears the fiber cement board through like a shearing action, almost like scissors. It does not cut it or create any airborne dust. It produces like a spaghetti-like stringy kind of waste. Um, easily to sweep up, not a big deal, or vacuum. This allows us to basically cut and install in place at the same time versus going in and out of the house to make dusty cuts outside. It also reduces our time carrying sheets through the house, which reduces our chances of potentially damaging a wall or trim boards in that process. Look guys, this is a huge efficiency saving for us, a time saving uh, tool. I love it when we're installing uh, underlayment. As far as accuracy goes, Using the tool takes a little bit of time to get used to the cut line. It's definitely not like cutting with a circular saw. It's way different. Uh, here's a tip for you. When you're cutting circles, you first need to cut a pilot hole. And to do this, we use a one inch um, spade bit, a Bosch spade bit, and we just cut the hole. That creates dust, but then you use the shear head to do a circle cutout or something like that, or an HVAC uh, vent. The pack tool handle can be switched or positioned left or right for different handed users. It also has replaceable steel blades when they start to get dull. This accessory has now found a home in my tool trailer and will make us way more efficient on the job site. Look guys, time is money. And speaking of money, the ability to make dustless cuts is awesome, especially in place. We're gonna save time. And it's well worth the $89 for the price of this accessory. I'll actually put a purchase link in the description, the video description below for you guys. Look guys, if you like this video, if you found this review useful, please give us a like, consider subscribing, and hit that notification bell. I'm Rob Robillard, and we'll see you next time here at the next tool review at Toolbox Buzz.